lot of people are just, wow, just missing those cars into oh, that oh, power oh, line wow. there. Wow, and that is quite the, uh, the ending to this pursuit. Car chases can be deadly, so it's important that police end them as quickly and as safely as possible. But what tools do police use to bring criminals' vehicles to a stop? And the drivers to justice. Uh, uh, LA, uh, excuse me, from California Highway Patrol, really starting to work this a little bit more. There you go, just kind of, just stopped. And how do they work? Welcome to Explained. Spike strips. Spike strips are a classic. We've all seen the TV police chases that end with the bad guy spinning their car out with four flat tires. Did you guys hit him or not? All right, he's off. He's off again, spinning. He's off. He's in the he's in the water. In the water, right hand side. But spike strips have improved a lot. Retractable spikes means law enforcement no longer has to be in harm's way to deploy them. The strips can now pull themselves out of the way after hitting the target car, allowing police to carry on at full speed to chase down the immobilized criminal. High speed chase, baby, here we go. Watch this. The X-Net. The X-Net is very similar to spike strips, but without all the tire-bursting chaos that they cause. Developed for the British Army, the X-Net have flat-headed spikes that grab onto the axles of the car as well as the wheels. This causes the net to wrap around the tires, forcing the wheels to stop and bringing the vehicle to a halt. The Grappler. Imagine the X-Net combined with the Cowboy's lasso. That's what the Grappler is. One press of a button and the net opens in front of the chasing police car. You then drive as close to the fleeing vehicle's back wheel as possible, and then the net deploys, trapping the wheel. Once the car is snagged, a bungee cord stretches, bringing the car to a controlled stop. Pulling up right in front of him now, and it almost looks like he, I thought for a second, front, oh, he did, yeah, it looks like they're trying a pit maneuver. Or maybe oh, the grappler. They got him with a grappler. Yes. The RF safe stop. While all of our previous car stoppers are highly effective, they also bring risk to the chasing police, the criminals, and the public. So how do you stop a fleeing vehicle with absolutely no chance of it losing control? The RF safe stop is the answer. This device stops cars without even touching them. It's by far the safest and least destructive way of stopping a chase because it does it entirely remotely. The RF Safe Stop disables a vehicle's electrics by sending out a range of radio frequencies that essentially jams the car. And it doesn't just work on cars. Marine police use this tech for fleeing boats too. The Modular Vehicle Barrier. What happens when stopping a runaway vehicle becomes less about catching the criminal and more about protecting a crowd, a building, or an area? Oh. Okay, he's, uh, he's on the, the ramp with the F-18s now, heading eastbound. That's where barriers come in. Each section of this modular vehicle barrier weighs just 20 kilos, but each provide incredible levels of protection. What is that? Their unique L-shaped design turns a vehicle's forward momentum into downwards momentum, bringing the car to a swift stop. The HT-1 Raptor. These curved bollards pack a serious punch. The curve minimizes the amount of space the barrier takes underground. But don't let the design fool you. In testing, the Raptor stopped, well, more like destroyed, a 7.5 ton truck traveling at 50 miles per hour with no problem. Showing that this little bollard has some real stopping power. The Archie Barrier. 
Most barriers bring a lot of destruction, but not a lot of portability. The Archie is different. This 3,000 kilo defense system is a non-permanent barrier, but with the ability to bring any vehicle to its knees. The massive central bollards provide huge impact to the vehicle, while the base rises up and turns the forward momentum into vertical momentum. This keeps pedestrians safe while providing maximum damage to runaway vehicles. That's just some of the tech that the police have available to them. Are there any cool bits of kit that you've seen being used that we missed out? Let us know in the comments and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.